Welcome to our we webinar entitled Addictions. Let's go to the Father in prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord. We just give you the glory, honor, and praise. We invite you into this webinar to speak to your people this uh, area of addictions. You desire that your people be set free, and you are here to set them free if they so desire to be set free. So, Father, we just ask, I just ask, Lord, that the, as the word goes forth, it will touch your people's hearts, minds, and spirit, and they would truly hear what you have to say on this area. We just send forth the angels now to minister to them in the Holy Spirit to open their hearts, minds, and spirits to what you are saying through this webinar. And we just invite you, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and all of the angels in heaven, to come and join us and to so that this message will go forth in a mighty powerful way and touch your people and be that they would be set free we thank you lord we put the blood of jesus and destroy every plan of the devil in jesus name it seems as the days get darker Drawing nearer to the second coming of Jesus Christ, the same things that have happened in the past, these same things seem darker and deeper in the present. People were addicted to different things and seemed to get free of it if they truly committed to their recovery. Some of these addictions could be drugs, alcohol, sex, smoking, pornography, lust, gambling, Anything the devil convinces people they need in order to destroy them. So we see that people um, are open to these things because um, they see it's there and the devil entices them. And uh, next thing you know, they're addicted. But God, on the other hand, is standing there and he's saying, I'm here for you. You don't have to use these, item these things to destroy your life. Addictions are defined as a fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance, thing, or activity. It means a compulsive need for and use of a habit forming substance, like heroin or nicotine, where tolerance and symptoms upon come upon with withdrawal. There is a substance addiction referring to drugs and so forth that, take, that one takes within their body. On activity addiction includes gambling, sex, pornography, and so forth. So um, when we talk about certain addictions, it's with a substance. With another addiction, it could be an activity. But it still is causing you to be addicted and and causing you to be controlled by this addiction and that is not god's purpose for you he wants you he wants to to lead and guide you in things rather than an addiction why do people get addicted desire to feel better with drama trauma sometimes is the root cause some people have an addictive personality when they have, per they have personality traits that predispose them to developing addictions. Another way to be involved in, in another type of addiction could include an environmental factor, such as your family's beliefs or your peer group. What are we really saying is a person has lost control and giving that control to a substance, activity, or a group. Let's bring this to the present now. What I'm observing as I minister to people in those addictions mentioned previously is that these addictions are more prevalent in a deeper and more ensnaring way. It seems to take more effort to get out of it and stay out of it than in the past. The drugs have become more ensnaring and more destructive. Pornography is not just a Playboy magazine just laying around. The internet has brought pornography to another level that is more accessible and more perverted 
in such a way that people are not satisfied with their spouse. They want to have sex with children and animals. Human trafficking has become more prevalent because of the gross darkness of pornography being the cause of it. So what we're talking about here is presently in this in this last few years these addictions are stronger they're more ensnaring and they're more destructive so god wants to set you free from this but you have to want to be free and because these addictions are destroying you and they're bringing you into a deeper um ensnarement and entrapment than the types of drugs and pornography that was going on before. And it gets to the point that this one drug or this one activity doesn't uh, satisfy, so you want to go and get some other thing. And it just takes you deeper and deeper. The traffickers see a need. See, the traffickers make out on this too. They see your need, you're addicted, so they're willing to make money at the expense of your, you and others and the people's depravity that you're in that state. This is sad to say that the darkness is getting so bad that there is word people are missing. Do you know there are people missing? And I heard somewhere where there's um, they're missing because their body organs are being sold for a lot of money to other people. So it just keeps go getting darker and darker. Who would have thought all these things were going to happen? This human trafficking, this depth of the pornography and the drugs. Is this really living a good life here on earth? One's life and the lives of others are precious in God's eyes. He loves all those he created. All people are precious in his sight. Jesus said in John 10.10 10 in the Amplified, the thief comes only in order to steal, kill, and destroy. I came that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. So you see the scenario here? The enemy is trying to destroy you in these things. But the, Jesus is saying, no, I have come to give you life more abundantly. You don't have to be addicted to these things. So you see your enemy, the devil, is behind your destruction, while Jesus, on the other hand, offers you life abundantly. Let's look in Ecclesiastics chapter 5, verses 18 to 20, in the Amplified. It says, Behold, here is what I have seen to be good and fitting, to eat and drink, and to find enjoyment in all the labor in which he labors under the sun, during the few days of his life which God gives him, for this is his allotted reward. So here the Lord is, is blessing you with the days here on earth, and he gives you labor. That's your reward. Almost every man to whom God has given riches and possessions, he has also given the power and ability to enjoy them and to receive this as his allotted portion and to rejoice in his labor. This is a gift of God to him. So, so here, here's people in addictions I know they're not enjoying their life. And on the other hand, here's Jesus. Here's God giving you a gift. You know, some people work and work and work, but they can't enjoy it because work is an addiction. And so it, he says here in verse 19, God has given you riches and possessions and the power and ability to enjoy them and to receive them and rejoice in your labor. This is a gift of God. So not only is he giving this to you, he's giving you days on earth to enjoy it, but he's saying, I'm giving this to you and for you to enjoy it on the days that I've given you here on earth 
This is my gift to you. You can't do that if you're addicted. Verse 20, for he will not often consider the troubled days of his life because God keeps him occupied and focused on the joy of his heart and that tranquility of God indwells him. So he's saying he's enjoying this gift from God and he has this has the joy of his heart in doing this and, and enjoying the things that he has worked for. That was his gift from God and enjoying life, enjoying his family. And so he doesn't have time to be occupied about the, the troubled days of his life. He has the peace of God dwelling in him. So those of you who are watching this webinar, don't you see the deception? Can you be free from this addiction? Do you see what God is saying in these verses in Ecclesiastes chapter 5? verses 18 to 20, you can have enjoyment in your labors here on this earth. He gives you the power and enjoyment to receive and rejoice in your labor. This is a gift from the Father to you. When you have surrendered your life to him, enjoying life, he describes you have tranquility in you, his tranquility and peace. If you are honest with yourself, you don't have that peace being controlled by an addiction. I invite you to pray with me and surrender your life and that addiction to him and allow him to give you his peace so you can live on this earth enjoying your labors, your riches, and your possessions. And I invite you to do this right now. Some of you are, have waited for this time. You're to the end and you're ready to pray. Some of you are thinking about it. But, but I'm saying to you, don't think too long because he wants to give you life more abundantly. He doesn't want you controlled by this addiction. And I pray that you come to, the, to see that it's not worth it. So those that are ready... Um, I, uh, I ask you to pray this prayer after me. You're returning back to the Lord and you're repenting for this re addiction and you're asking the Lord to set you free today. So Father, right now, I just uh, pray with these and I ask you to um, be with us as we pray this prayer and set these people free from these addictions. You see their heart and you see that they're ready. So repeat this prayer after me. Father, I receive, I ask you to come into my heart and I repent of my sins and I receive you, Jesus, into my heart to be Lord of my life. I repent of these addictions. I repent of doing these things and allowing these things to control my life. I don't want it anymore. I want to be set free from this an entrapment of these addictions. I, I desire it no longer. And I ask you to come into my life and set me totally free of these. I repent of it and I, and I thank you for it. And I receive it now, your uh, deliverance from the, uh, giving me this deliverance from these addictions. And Father, right now I pray for these people that have are praying about these and being set free. I just break the power of the enemy off their life in the name of Jesus. And I ask you, Lord, to set them totally and completely free from these addictions and that they have come from the life of the spirit of death into the life of a more abundant life. They don't want to be destroyed by the enemy anymore. And they take that control, of that addiction, and they give give you their lives, Lord. And we just thank you, Father. And um, now there's a gift that God wants to give you. It's being filled with the Holy Spirit and overflowing, being baptized with overflowing with, this, with fire. And if you would like that, and you have just asked the Lord in your heart, you're ready to receive that. So just say this prayer after me. I... I believe in being um, baptized in the Holy Spirit as in Acts 1 and 2 
in the gifts of spirit in um, Acts 12. And I ask you, Father, to fill me now and overflowing with the Holy Spirit and with fire and that I can walk in the gifts of the spirit and have a closer walk with you and um, be used of, of you above the of the gifts of the spirit. And I just thank you, Father, for the infilling of the Holy Spirit right now and with fire. And I just thank you, Father, for setting me free from these addictions and um, filling me with the Holy Spirit. Well, we're going to leave. We're going to go now. And um, I just pray that you will move forward in what God has done for you today. If you don't have a church, I pray that you be led of the Lord to which church that you can go to so you can move forward and learn how to live this life for him free of addictions. So, Father, right now, we just thank you, Lord, for joining us in this webinar. And we thank you, Lord, for setting these people free and filling them with the Holy Spirit. And, Father, I ask, Lord, that the, that you would lead and guide them to the church where they need to be, uh, learn more of you to uh, walk out this uh, addiction-free lifestyle. And we just thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus and Holy Spirit and all the angels in heaven. And we just thank you for joining us today. And just put the blood of Jesus over this webinar and over the seeds that have been sown. And we destroy every plan of the devil. Well, we're going to leave now. And I just encourage you to get in your word and start asking the Father where you should go to church. And, and, and ask him to uh, give you the uh, insight into his word to lead and guide you and and uh, everything that he teaches and and shows you in his word so that you can get your the word of God inside of you to stay free. Well, we'll see you the next time. God bless you.